Hi everyone, this is Cass from Boom Gel Stain and Cass's Creations. So what I'm going to do today is just hopefully a short video of a balloon kiss. This is a colour combination I did last week and I've got a, a lot of feedback and requests for a tutorial video. So down here we've just got our Sterling Wax White, which is Boom Gel Stain's White. For those who don't know, Boom is non-toxic, it's water-based. Um, it'll just wipe off benches, even if it's been there for a couple of weeks. Um, just really easy to clean. Um, and it's fun for the whole family to use. So that was one of our limited edition colours, Dusty Rose. Uh, this is Pearlescent Pink. Um, uh, this one is Pandaria Pink. I hope these colours are coming up. And I'm just going to put a little bit more of our Dusty Rose because I just can't get enough of this colour at the moment. Okay, and then this is our Bungara Brown, which is just divine. Is that how I laid it last time? I don't think so. I might put some pearlescent pink on top. Okay, oh, a little bit more. Um, what am I going to do? Oh, I might just put some... I've used a bit more product, but anyway. Okay, so that was just a top puddle of our Pandaria Pink. So, all... okay, my camera's playing up. So I'm just going to... Um, blow literally just blow it out I'll just pause that so I'm just going to use my mouth and just blow it out okay is it recording oh my gosh I can't even tell if that's recording okay now that I know that's recording oh my gosh okay so all I've done is just blown that out um, just as a okay I'm gonna try this again all right I've blown it out um, just with my mouth to get some movement happening um, and then I'm actually going to spin it out to stretch it okay so I'm going to pause that while I do that okay dokes we're back I'm gonna to have to keep this brief all right so what I've done is I've stretched it out so this is what I did the other night I did a bloom at the time I wasn't happy with it there were a few cells coming out because I stretched it out too much, which I just did intentionally. So what happens is I've started getting some of these lovely natural cells coming up. Um, and if I let that sit for another 20 minutes or so, I'd probably get a few more. So I wasn't happy. And, and then I thought, well, I'll just go and do a balloon kiss. Um, so as you can see, this on its own is really quite beautiful. I love it. But what happens, so because I want to show what I did the other night, so just pretend that I'm really unhappy, but I'm really not. But anyway, let's pretend I'm really unhappy, and then I'm going to go ahead and do some balloon kisses. So for me, what works great is having a balloon that is has been um, slowly deflating. So really, my balloons, if they're a few weeks old, I actually like them more. Um... But everyone's got their own preference, so it depends. So I like to work with a balloon about this size um, and have it like a bit deflated on the deflated side. I've got nothing in it, just there. Um, and then I've just got my paper towel, which I'm going to wipe onto. So because I've stretched this out, normally I would say let's let this sit for, you know, 20 minutes or so before I do the balloon kiss. But because I've spun it out so much and stretched it out, um, the product, it really should have stopped moving a great deal by this stage, just because of what I did. So now I'm just going to pick the areas that I'm not really happy with and go and do some kisses. And it's going to accentuate the negative space look that I'm going for, which is really pretty as well. So here I've got way too much brown. So um, Bungara Brown is 
the most wonderful colour and our kookaburra brown, but less is best with those colours, so just be aware. Now, so I'm going to start smack bang in the middle to see if I can, well not in the middle, but in the middle of this bloom, just to see if I can incorporate some other colours, rather than just having the brown everywhere. So you can see I've got these little divots. That's probably because now I probably don't have quite enough product in there. See, it's done again. And that doesn't matter. The whole point is to show you what can go wrong as well and how to fix it. So I'll show you what I do to those little areas. So I don't mind them coming up right now. And this isn't how it's going to finish in a way. So... I'm intentionally trying to get rid of a bit of that bung arrow brown. All right, so you can see I am probably require a bit more product. So all I do is if I get these little divots, which have now leveled out in a way and they're not there, but we're going to pretend they're still there, I will actually just go and pop down some more product on my little balloon and incorporate that into my kiss when I push down. Okay, and that way I can, so I've just bounced that up a couple of times just to make it look like it's natural and not just being blobbed. So I'm just going to, my balloon, I'm just going to spin around to this side. And I'm just lifting it up a little bit slower. So these lines, that harsh edge, I don't actually like that. So I will just keep going until I'm happy with it and keep working it. Okay. So now I'm much happier with that um, pattern in the middle there. I just need to make sure this is still recording. Oh, yep. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to go around and do some more kisses all over the place. And then I'll show you what I do with little areas that I'm not 100% happy with as well. So I use my balloon as much as possible but I also go around and do what I call finger kisses and it's just to create movement um, where I think I need it or if I want to incorporate a little bit more of a pop of colour and I'll show you what I mean and it will all make sense in a moment. So these pearlescents once they dry they really take on that stunning metallic sheen and when used with the standard colours, they're just beautiful together. Okay. And for those that have seen my pieces, I really like um, delicate, um, intricate little details that you find and I try and accentuate them if that makes sense oh I know the color I'm missing goodness um, I also used our one of our other limited edition colors which is the fawn which I haven't gotten here which is a stunning color so what I might do I might be able to incorporate that onto my balloon Gosh, it doesn't matter. All right, doesn't matter. Let's just keep going because okay. So we're getting there. So isn't that pretty? I like all these. Um, 
I don't know. Just delicate areas that come out. And because of the negative space, so... Okay, so now what I'm going to do is there's little areas that I don't quite like. So what I'll do is I'll just get my fingertip and I'll actually just move it around just a little bit. just to add some movement if I don't like it or if I want to bring down another color I'll actually just do that so like I want to bring some of this brown out here, so I will just bring that through. Just finish that off with a little kiss there. Um, I want to bring some of this brown up this way, so the opposite. I'm just going to bring it in. So we've got some little wispy bits of it now. Um, I'm just going to, so really I'm just playing until I'm happy with the effects that I have. I'm also missing the other colour that I used in my last one was uh, metallic gold. So I had our fawn and metallic gold in that. This is really pretty. Um, where else do I want to go? Um, I might incorporate just a little bit more. So I'll show you how I do that. Um, again, so just pretend it's just like my fingers, the the um, balloon. So I'm just going to pop just a tiny bit. That's not even, oh my goodness, that's the tiniest amount ever. So if I just touch that up a little bit, I just get these nice little threads going through which are really pretty and delicate okay so i'm trying to spin this around in my head too um okay i think i actually really like that There's a little bit of fluff in here somewhere. Okay. Um, oh, I don't know. I might just change this bit up a bit. And that's just to get rid of this line there that I thought was a bit stiff. This one, I'm just going to bring that through like that. So that's softened that line nicely. Um, and I'm going to do the same over here. Maybe just a little kiss there. So I'll just keep dabbing until I'm actually happy with the result that I've got. Now I'm not happy with that at all. Um, okay, let's pop that bubble. Oh, I'll pop it in a minute. All right, how are we looking? I think that's really pretty. Mm. I don't know. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to leave it now. That's what I think. Um, I'll get some photos 
up. This area here I don't like. No, I've got to do something there because I really don't like that. It's just um, too much of our... So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop some directly down here. There's actually just too much of our pandaria in that spot, that one little spot, and I don't like it. And I'm just going to put a little dot of our brown. Gosh, I hope this is still recording and I'm not just here talking to myself and the dog. Okay. Now, oh, I would normally just blow that out a little bit, but I'm not going to because my head will go in the camera. So I'm just going to scooch it around a little bit. Is that a word? Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's much nicer. I'm really happy with that now. Just that randomness. Yes, it's okay, Shala. We all heard you. All right. Does that blend in? I might just add... Okay, so this is me just now going, okay, I need to incorporate that a little bit more. So now this is where I get these little tiny, tiny, um, really strong bits of colour. So what I'm going to do is, gosh, I'm still up. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to, excuse my hands, they're filthy, but this washes off really easy. So I'm going to just, I want to incorporate a bit more of the, um, this colour, which is our oh, limited edition colour. So I'm actually going to just add some really fine little... areas so what I normally do can you see this I'll actually I don't know if you can see the edge I've just got a little blob of my color there so it's on the side here and if I'm working on my kitchen bench this will be on my kitchen bench literally I'll have these little blobs because they wipe off at the end so now because I just don't want to stop playing right now I'm just going to Incorporate just some little pops of stronger colour and just to give it a bit more definition as well. So if I've got too much white there, I'm just going to take some of that away and just pop that down and just keep going with it until I'm happy with Oh, see, that's so pretty. So I'm not. I'm done with that little spot for the time being, in a way. No. So this is just what I do when I'm just at the my bench or my table, having a little play and trying to get. So there's a. A heavy product there so I'm just going to take some of that away and then I'm going to bring this in and remember this I can't make a mistake if I make an area that I don't like I can just take it away as long as my piece is wet um, yeah I'm just recording as long as my piece is wet especially with boom I can just keep adding to it and it's still going to dry completely level. Okay, so here I need to have, just to balance that back out again, is I need to actually have a, um, a bigger kiss. So I'm going to go back to my balloon for a sec. I'm going to put a little bit of brown just on here like that. 
and I might use some of this because I don't like having waste either so that's just going to make it look more blended by using that little excess that I had there and I'm just going to go in here there we go that's pretty isn't it okay how are we looking oh, this little section here I'm not a fan of so I'll just do some little kisses on the way down see little areas like that I just love I've got a pop bubble there oh. okay um I, I don't like this area that I did before so I'm just gonna cover that back up so this is just me taking away So I'll just do that and get some of that off and then I can go and add. Okay, so again, this time I'm going to use a little bit of pearlescent pink as my little side blob. So here I want to add a bit more as a bigger one to make it look like that's where it's coming from. Okay, I'm quite happy with this now. This is really pretty. I'm happy with my little things of colour. Oh, there's a bit too... Um, okay, I'm, I, I think I'm happy. So that should be it. Um, I'll take some photos. Oh, no, look what I've just seen. I've got these random little... Okay, let's just... Okay. Um... Do I like this area? No, I think there needs to be something just here, doesn't there? Let's just bring that up just a little bit. There we go. I'm just going to make that a bigger one again. Just so it doesn't look out of place. There we go. I like things just to move in a particular way. I don't know. It's whatever you find appealing. All right. I think I'm happy with that. But not really. <laughs> I think I am. I'm Because I'm not looking at it from above. So I think that's how I'm going to leave it. No, I'm not now. Okay, I'm happy with that now. Um, all right, I just want to add a little bit more colour over here. Uh, where was it here? I just want to add a little tiny, some dots of pink. All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. I may very well play some more, but I'm thinking that's about it. So I'll add some photos, um, and I'll get some dry pics up there as well. I hope you guys like it, and, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.